Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another movie review. Uh, today I am talking about the 2021 reboot, remake, uh, sequel, tie-in, whatever you want to call it, uh, of Candyman, uh, directed by Nia DaCosta and produced by Jordan Peele and others. Uh, I want to preface this review by saying I don't care about the, uh, the political uh, discussion about this movie. Uh, people seem to forget how political the first film was, uh, or how Clive Barker's story uh, in the flesh, I believe it was, uh, how political that was. Um, I, I'm very confused by people uh, just automatically being upset at the movie for dealing with social topics and things that actually happen. Not, of course, Candyman, but, you know, the, uh, the police shootings, uh, police violence, things like that. And I know I'm opening uh, this up to alt-right trolls and everything, but I don't really care. I mean, you guys can say what you want to, um, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to fight with you. So I'm here to talk about what I liked and didn't like about the movie. And if you would like to have respectful discussion down there in the doobly-doo, I'm all for it. So right off the bat, this is nowhere near as good as the original. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see what some people are saying that it is better than the original because Tony Todd was utterly terrifying as Candyman. This new guy, um, I, I didn't think he was menacing whatsoever. Um, there, there was definitely a stronger sympathetic feel for him. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, it probably because they showed what happened to him, whereas they just uh, not alluded, but they just told the story in the original. What happened in the original Candyman? I've heard complaints about how they changed the whole mythos. No, they didn't. Um, it's it just it, it seems it seems funny to me some of the complaints when there are actual you know valid things to be complaining about here. Um, the number one thing is the new Candyman who's Candyman for the majority of the movie, is not menacing. He's not scary, um, which brings me to the reason why he's not, because for the majority of the film, we don't see any of the deaths. It's all off screen. Um, now, I'm not a gore hound. I do, I do like gore in my horror movies and my slashers and things like that, but it took away some of the, uh, the, the, the terror, well, a lot of the terror, not seeing the aftermath, not seeing the murders, not seeing the brutality that this entity was uh, capable of. I guess is it the, the first film I think did the brutality very very well it was a very beautiful disturbing piece of art and this movie is gorgeous I, I loved watching it um, but my problem is that the, it, everything was kind of just kind of just glossed over um, I don't know if they're trying to make it scarier by doing the alluding to what happened but I just couldn't find that the scene in the bathroom with the uh, teenage girls fell flat for me. Uh, the art critic fell flat for me. It's just, I, I, I don't know. And I'm normally not the type of person who has to see everyone die and torn apart. But I think that was the draw of the first film was seeing the brutality that Candyman was capable of. And it wasn't just like, oh yeah, give me all the murder, give me all the, the gore possible. It had a lot more to do with, you know, showing you what he was capable of. Um, another slight uh, criticism I have is I, I I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. Someone brought this up on Twitter, and at first I disagreed with them um, because it seemed after um, the main character uh, started you know rotting basically after the bee sting that no one noticed, and I I I still <laughs> I still feel I've watched it twice so far. He goes into a, a reclusive mode, and you know, even his his wife, uh, he, they they end up separating um, because she thinks he's gone uh, he, he's gone south, that kind of thing. Um, but his mother doesn't notice when she's talk when she's talking to him, and his head is only slightly turned, but his hand is right there. So I guess I'm going to actually agree with them. It's rather odd that no one mentioned that this dude was literally rotting before their eyes. 
Um, now, I, I liked everything else about the film. I'm going to give it four stars, but I truly wish that either they had brought back Tony Todd for the entirety of the film or gotten someone who is a little more menacing as Candyman because this is not a horror movie that unsettled or scared me um, as much as it was, you know, a, a, almost an art house film, um, I guess I guess is the best way I could put it because, like I said, it's very, very, very pretty to look at. Um, the uh, I, I, Of course, you know, I'm a damn dirty liberal, so of course I liked all the, all, all the messages and everything like that but also you know it, it's it's about a reality you know these things happen these things the these terrible crimes are committed by people in power and they get away with it um i i just i feel like this movie could have been better um it is not uh, for me it is definitely not better than the original but the costa did an amazing job with the film as far as the look and quality of it my only complaint my only big complaint really is that the main focal the, the focal point of the whole movie the titular bad guy is kind of boring this time around um and that was a very odd choice uh, to make but other than that, I did enjoy it. I can't really think of, because I did enjoy it so much, I can't really, I don't know, I, I, I can't really say too much more about it. It's always been easier for me to uh, review something if I if I hate it because I have a lot more I have stuff to complain about. But when I when I enjoy something, you know, it, it, it becomes this where you know I just I just mentioned maybe minor criticisms and then move on. But I would love to hear what you think about the new Candyman um, down there in the doobly doo. And yes, this is a super short review. I apologize, but I don't really have much else to say. Um, but if you want to let me know respectfully, please. I don't I don't care about your political affiliation. I don't care to hear about, oh my god, this is nothing but a goddamn political advertisement. No, I, I don't care. It's it's silly, it's annoying, and I'm sure I'm going to bring people in just saying that, but they probably already clicked away anyways. Um, anywho, so let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, you hated it, you felt meh about it, um, but if you felt any of those things, uh, describe in detail, try to keep politics out of this if you can, uh, describe in detail why you felt that way so that we can have a discussion, but until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another movie review, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!